What's up everyone, Super Auto Gaming here, and today I bring you a good swordfish build. And unfortunately, I did this right before they changed swordfish into actually being a halfway decent unit. I had been trying for a little bit to get a good swordfish game on pack 3. I didn't want to use custom packs because you can virtually make anything work with custom packs. So I really, really was adamant about trying to do this on pack 3. So that's what we're on. And the best way to do that in my mind is frog. You gotta get frog to work. So the way frog works right now is that at level one, it's a start of battle effect. So at the start of the battle, it will swap the two stats of the units that it's in between. Um, and then it's a level two ability, which is what you're really looking for is sell when you sell it, it swaps the stats permanently. So a very good ability. And then it's level three. It's a bit more lackluster because you have to keep the frog on your team the whole time, but it, it's an end of turn effect. So at the end of the turn, it will stop the swap stats. So you can do that as many times as you want. So I feel like the, the level three might be not as good as you would hope. You just have to invest nine more gold into something that you might only swap stats twice uh, on something. So it might not be that good, but I haven't done enough testing with it. However, uh, you really want to get some early frogs, at least like a couple to keep on your team until you can hopefully get the level three one or the level two one. Unfortunately, the problem with that is that your team as a whole is a lot weaker because you, you're, of course, you're missing a slot. You're not missing it, but in that slot is a frog. So uh, just a base 3-1, there's the little guy now, he's so cute, and that's it. So you have to keep him on the team because you have to get him to level 2. It's not always bad, but it will definitely make you lose more than win. Um, however, our team is very strong already. We had like the early Capybara start, which means everything in the shop is going to get buffed up, and then we found an early Salamander, which is actually what we'll be using to swap because Salamander gains a lot of attack, and Swordfish, what you want is basically for it to have only attack and no health. You don't need any health with Swordfish because you slap a pepper on it, it tries to kill itself, and it will hopefully uh, nuke something on the enemy team. Thankfully, they just changed Swordfish to now target the highest health enemy, which is absolutely insane. It will be really, really good now. So I'm very excited for that we might actually be able to have like a team of two or three swordfish because right now uh, the amount of times that I tried to make this work you know you get you got like a really big swordfish on your team like it's a 51 or whatever a 41 and then uh, it goes to hit a unit and it kills like a 2-2 and then you you basically sacked one of your best units one of your biggest units and all you got in return was it hitting a 2-2 so it felt really really bad Thankfully, our team was just so strong in this. Like, uh, we get our Capybara really big. It's just always good to have one big strawberry unit because there's so many good strawberry synergies. So, we you, you keep a big strawberry unit. Um, sometimes you swap those stats off. However, we found the Salamander, so it worked really well here to swap those instead. And then, so it's nice to have the good the good big strawberry unit and then you want your other unit that you're gonna swap stats off of so you're also gonna be buffing that uh, hopefully with like residual buffs um, so in this case salamander whenever you buy a unit uh, that has a start of battle ability it just gets plus two attack at level two it gets plus four attack so I mean that's basically perfect for what we're what we're trying to do here and then capybara will buff up manually because we're probably gonna keep it and there's even a chance that I swap Cap Capybara instead um, because it will work with another unit, let's say. Uh, so it's, it's really good to have two different types of big units, and you definitely need them to carry you through the game. But as you can see, like we're doing fairly well here. Thankfully, um, just basically any unit that we buy, Capybara buffs up. I've said Capybara so many times this, this video, oh my god. Um, it gives you a lot of buffs in the shop. I mean, it's a canned food, basically. 
so it's really really good since you basically always have it getting it to level two is just really really strong so hopefully soon we can get our level two frog and now since we're on turn nine we're looking for swordfish and even even the level ups here so what like we see the spinosaurus it doesn't really work with the team but that could have easily been a good unit to swap onto and um same with whatever our other uh, tier six will be when we level up frog so we could have swapped off to those units as well which this is what it works the best with because like at a certain point you know salamander and capybara aren't gonna like hold their weight anymore they did they, they do very well in the early to mid game but once you get to the late game you really want a unit with like a very good ability and capybara just doesn't do that anymore so here with the stegosaurus um it'd be insane to get a big stegosaurus like if we swapped like it'd be perfect to swap frog onto it or um the capybara stats onto stego but then i would need a whole other level two frog to swap salamander the, sa the salamander stats off and i just felt like it wasn't worth so here we finally find the swordfish which is perfect um a good enough turn as any we see a pepper in the shop too so we can swap stats off and then put the pepper onto swordfish which which is exactly what we want so now our team has technically gotten significantly weaker however as long as we get stego in next turn i mean we have eight lives like we're not hurting or anything it'll be easily doable and then of course hamster is always amazing to look for units that you need hamster is probably the best thing that has come out of this pack because you desperately are always looking for stuff and hamster just helps all the time so it'll be amazing customs too hamster all around is just an amazing unit and um some could even say that it's broken but i think that people like it enough that it's okay like people feel okay that it's that broken um because everyone can get to use it so it's not like you know you're limited or anything and you don't need to get lucky all you need to do is find one and then you know you get free rolls it's it's absolutely amazing um, but yeah, we pick up these double fox because fox is absolutely absurd. Thank God they just nerfed it. Uh, now it doesn't work like a cat on level one. You at least have to get it to level two so we can start multiplying. But it's new level one just steals the food, which is honestly what it should have been all along. Because with the doubling stats here, I'm going to get both of these tacos and they're both going to get doubled. Um, so you're about to see it here. Look at that. Plus four on everything <laughs> and and double on some of it so it's absolutely absurd really great for um swordfish too and you see just swordfish doesn't <laughs> it doesn't always work out the the main reason we're winning here is because all of our other units are decently sized too and even we get a level two stegosaurus which, which is absolutely amazing freeze a hot dog and i mean you know we're gonna get massive stats here i don't even need a level two swordfish one of them's gonna steal a pickle and the other one's gonna steal the hot dog plus eight plus eight or sorry plus eight attack on two units like it's oh our fox is almost maxed out of 45 29 and you don't want to put stego behind swordfish you really don't oh my goodness we just won too so i mean dude it was just that quick that easy but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. So like and subscribe if you want to see more. And you know what? Have a fantastic day.